We're gonna make this layered wood plant stake. I'm gonna show you how to customize the design in Xtool Creative Space and cut it with any Xtool laser. Let's dive in. So this is a semi-custom design. We are gonna start with a basic design. We're gonna use XCS to create exactly what we want. And then I'm gonna cut this out of basswood, which means you can cut this with almost any X-Tool laser out there. I'm gonna be using my P2, but you can use whatever works for you. So let's start at creativefabrica.com. You can find the link in the description to the graphic file that we're gonna use. The Annual membership at Creative Fabrica is only $47 and you have unlimited access plus a commercial license to all of these designs. If not, you can pay one time to use this. So we're just going to hit download. And now we're going to open up Xtool Creative Space and we're going to import that image that we just downloaded. The file is going to download as a zipped file, so you will have to unzip it and then you can choose the image. So this is the image that we have here. And now we're gonna manipulate it a little bit. I wanna use this piece right here. I actually don't need this because I don't really want the part with the hole in it. So we're just gonna delete that. But I do still want a back piece. So we're gonna come up here and use the outline feature. And we're gonna move this down to zero. And then if I pull them apart, I have a background piece here. Now I'm going to make these a little bit smaller and once you have two pieces whenever you resize you want to select them both so that they size appropriately. We are making a plant stake so we need to add the stake portion. I'm going to insert a rectangle and as a general rule of thumb you want your stake to be about as tall as your actual image or your actual design here it's just going to give you good balance and I prefer them to be about a quarter inch wide and then I'm just going to round the corners a little bit so I want to line this up so it's center it's really nice you have these snap grids that tell you where to put it this is going to show me that I'm aligned perfectly the other thing you can do is select both pieces, come up here to align, and choose the horizontal align. Just going to make sure everything is in place. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Now I can select, oops. Now I can select both of them, come up to combine, and unite. So this is my back part, and this is the front part. So I'm going to cut this. They're both going to be cut out of wood, and then we're going to paint them. This one's going to be painted one color. This is going to be painted another. But they're going to be cut out of the same material, so we can cut them all together. So now I want to make sure that these are the right size. Right now, this is about four inches tall, which I want to go just a little bit smaller than that. But I need to size both of these at the same time. So I'm going to select everything and just bring it a little bit smaller. It gives me something just under four inches. That's about right. Now the last step here is I'm going to select everything, come up here to combine and unite. Now this means I can't pull these apart. These are all stuck together, but really what that does is that combines everything into one image and it makes processing on your laser just a little bit faster. So now we can connect the device. I prefer designing before my device is connected. Honestly, I will design sometimes at night on my laptop while I'm watching TV. You don't need to be connected to your laser while you're creating designs. You can have Xtool Creative Space on multiple devices. So if you are designing on a desktop computer as I am right now, but maybe your laser is not in the same room as your desktop and you need to do that on a laptop, here's a little trick. You can come up here to the cloud. Now, I've already saved this design. So I've, I went up here and I hit save, but you can come up to the cloud and you can upload from the computer. So I'm gonna go click my Easter plant stake and I can upload this 
to the cloud. So it's right here, it's ready to go. Now, when I close this, I can open this up on my laptop that I'm gonna use with my laser and I'll have the design ready to go. Now I'm in a spot where I'm ready to cut. So I've got my P2 turned on and I'm gonna put a piece of wood in here. Now this is just thin basswood. You can cut this with a D1 and M1 and S1. This is a really versatile material. I'm using my P2 because it is fast and I don't get as much charring with this machine as I do with some of the lower wattage lasers. So now we can go back into creative space. I've opened XCS and I can go up to that little cloud image, log in, and then I'm gonna find that Easter plant steak file that I created on my other computer. It's a great way to go between devices. Now, once this uploads, I need to connect my machine. The S1 is already sitting here, but I just hit connect and hook it up to my P2. The P2 has two cameras. So with the wide angle camera, I'm gonna line it up where I want and then I'm gonna click capture close view. This helps me make sure it's really well aligned and I'm not going over the edges and I'm making good use of my material. So once I have that set, I am gonna go over to the right here and I am going to pick my base material. This is just a good place to start. So I'm choosing three millimeter basswood and then I'm going to auto measure. Now, if I go back and click on the design, I can create my cut settings. Now, a good rule of thumb is never cut at 100% power. It is gonna wear out your laser faster than you want and you just don't need it. So these are the settings that I use for this particular type of wood in my P2. As always, run your own test settings, keep a spreadsheet or a notebook with the best settings for your materials so you get really good cuts and engraves. All right, when everything's set, I can hit process. Then I'm gonna go over to my machine and hit the button and it's gonna start. The P2 is a 55 watt CO2 laser and watching it work is beautiful. This is in real time. It is faster than I could draw this image with a pencil. It has such a fine laser and it can do incredible detailed work. Now, as I said earlier, you could do this with your S1 or your M1. You're going to get a beautiful result. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer if the wattage is lower. You might get a little bit more char. You might want to mask it, but it will work with any other laser. So once this is all done, I like to leave the lid closed for about a minute. My fan runs a little bit longer. It gets all that smoke out, and then I can pull it up and take my pieces out. Whenever you cut something like this that has a lot of debris, take those slats out and clean out your machine. Leaving these in here is a fire hazard. And I know myself, if I don't clean it out now, I will forget and then I'll be upset when I have to do it later. So just do it right away. Pick up the pieces. You can just take a damp cloth and wipe up the dust. It's going to give you better results with your laser for your next project. Now comes the fun part. You can customize this however you want. I grabbed some pastel green spray paint, some gray, and then a uh, clear coating as well. So I'm gonna take these outside and spray paint the two wood pieces, let them dry completely. Then I'm gonna add a coat of polyurethane to both. When that is dry, then I can just glue them together using a really strong glue. And now this is ready to stick in a plant. All right, I hope you learned how to design and create your own plant steak. Definitely start with Creative Fabrica. They have some amazing pieces in there that you can use. If you get that annual membership, they're all free and they come with a commercial license. So definitely a good investment. These would be so cute to put into plants. You can sell them, you can gift them, you can make them for Easter or any other holiday. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos that help you move forward in your creative journey. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.